Hello there and uh, welcome to this video. I will try to uh, make a video regarding uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze, as you obviously know. Uh, but uh, today it's about breeding and there are quite a few tricks that uh, well, a lot of people don't know. All the breeding happens at uh, Laguna Lake. For those who don't know where that is, let's just show it's this place and uh, this is a hot spot when you want to do breeding. Uh, it revolves around the daycare where you can uh, put in a male and a female. All this is obviously not news to you if you ever dabble in breeding. But uh, we'll try some easy breeding and some not as easy breeding. Um, first off, if you put uh, two compatible Pokemon in there, they will produce eggs and yeah, you talk to this guy and uh, he says he has an egg, I will take it. This is the egg of uh, Bonnery and uh, why am I breeding Bonnery? Well, um, I'm breeding quite a many Bonneries and it's a, many would say a crap Pokemon, but it's not uh, in higher ranked uh, fighting, it's an excellent Pokemon. You just need it with optimum stats and uh, this is what I'm trying to do now. So uh, I will cover both uh, normal breeding and chain breeding. Uh, I'll uh, explain that in a few. Uh, right now I'm showing you this. I have four eggs in uh, my bag. I also have my slot mat in the bag. Why? Well, uh, there is... Uh, there is an ability on a Slogma called Magma Armor. You can uh, use that. There is another uh, type of ability uh, also uh, regarding heat. And uh, if you have one, one of those uh, Pokemon on you, you will be able to uh, lower the amount of uh, steps you have to take to hatch an egg. And you simply lower it into half. So it's twice as fast now. Um, to make it even faster, I bought the Row Powers buff, so my X, uh, my X hatch three times faster if I buy this. Boom! Three times the egg hatching speed. Um, then I will run around here and you will see the uh, Bonnery X hatching really fast. Um, this is how to breed really, really, really fast you would be breeding even faster if not the mom and dad uh, producing the eggs were from the same trainer. Let's say you traded with a friend. If you've done so, you would have uh, you have the uh, bonus of uh, even higher chance of breeding. Uh, right now uh, my breeding chance is 50% each 256 steps. Had the parents been of uh, yeah, had the original parents been different, it would be a 70% chance instead of a 50% chance every 256 steps. But uh, you see, it's really fast to hatch them now. Um, as I said, there will be a, a bit more about uh, the uh, more advanced breeding, but of, of course right now I'm running two Bonneries in there and uh, that is the easiest way, that is the simple way of breeding. You can also breed uh, using Ditto. Ditto ain't in this game yet, but he can be both a parent, uh, a male and a female parent. Uh, he just can't breed with himself, but he can breed with any other race. Uh, what I'm doing right now is actually breeding Bonneries with an ability they are not able to get. Uh, unless you breed it onto them using chain breeding and uh, my chain breeding uh, started out with using an Esper uh, for those of you who don't know uh, an Esper I'll show you one uh, of course you do many of you do but uh, I have this nice shiny male Esper down here uh, with a not so nice name um, but my shiny Esper, uh, I removed every move she had except the fake out move. Because I want the fake out move on my uh, com upcoming uh, maxed out Luponis. 
fake out as a move, shiny, uh, the uh, Espel uh, learns at uh, level 21. So as soon as she hit 21, he hit 21, got the fake out move. I went to the uh, battle coliseum, removed every other move, and found a uh, female uh, Bonary partner for him with the uh, excellent uh, with the excellent uh, setting on his. Uh, oh, let me find it. With an excellent nature. The nature uh, on a Bonary is not the same for all, of course, but uh, on a Bonary I want high speed and uh, no uh, punishment of my attacks. So I need a jolly nature, and uh, I do have a jolly nature, and you see, that was one of them. Uh, this one has a jolly nature, this one has a jolly nature. If you produce eggs, it's totally random which nature they have, unless you use an Everstone. And uh, the mom Pokemon in the daycare right now, she has a jolly nature. So I equipped her with an Everstone before putting her into the uh, into the uh, daycare. So now all the offspring I get will be jolly Bonaries, because uh, it's also the mom. Uh, uh, when I was chain breeding, uh, it was a male from another species, but it's always mom's species. The egg, resu uh, the resulting egg, uh, comes from, and uh, due to the Everstone being on the mom, I got the Jolly Nature, and the moves came from the dad side, the Fake Out. Um, as soon as I have produced a a dad or male uh, Bonary with Fake Out, I had a female and a male Bonary with Fake Out. I let them breed instead. It's a way better chance uh, than using two different species. So uh, right now I can produce a ton of Bonaries. Why would I do that? Well, uh, for the uh, fighting skills, you need high IVs uh, and EVs. You probably know about the EVs. Uh, you can uh, check the EVs uh, when you when you uh, watch your. Uh, but when you take a look at your Pokemon, you can see the EVs you can train, you can make it better. Uh, a Bonaire, you, when it gets to be a Lopani, I want it full attack, full speed. But uh, you cannot see the IVs, so uh, two otherwise totally comparable Bonaires might not have the same stats. Uh, we can do the check. Left one. 1265466 This one has better speed than the other, although they're both level 1 and neither has been EV trained. And that is the hidden ability in IV. You need a... Uh, well, you need to find a page. You can find lots of pages on the internet that can calculate the IV. But I will now breed like a whole truckload of Bonaries with the correct move, the correct, uh, the correct uh, nature, and when I have that, I will pick the Bonary with the perfect IV, and then that is the one I will train up to level, yeah, level 65 is the current max in brick bombs. But it seems uh, tedious this, and it is. But if you want to do all, uh, if you do want to do a lot of winning in the uh, battle coliseum. This is how you do it, and it's not just with one Pokemon, it will everyone on your team has to be created like this from the bottom up and then trained all the way. And uh, if you do that, I will pretty much guarantee you a win rate uh, so high that uh, you will easily get past the 3000 mark in the battle arena. If you do this on, like, say, 15 different Pokémon uh, that can produce a couple of uh, good combination teams, you will have an insane team. And uh, I will not promise you a top five placement, but it should be possible if you know your uh, moves, counter moves, and also has produced all your Pokémon from the bottom up like this. But. Uh, well, this was all from me, and uh, now you know how to do 
breeding all the way from the bottom and produce the perfect results with the moves you want uh, which moves can be bred onto uh, Pokemon is quite a science but uh, look up the page Bulbapedia and uh, they will tell you if a move can be uh, if you can breed it onto your Pokemon uh, well I use it that's the way I go because it's well impossible to keep uh, keep track of which moves can be bred onto which Pokemon but uh, next time you see me I will have uh, level 65 perfectly stat uh, Lapani uh, with a mega stone on I guess and uh, maybe I will show you a video of uh, the Lapani fighting okay thanks for now and uh, have fun